Southern University, Dr. Brooks Gill and Dr. Tammy Shalou. I would like to welcome our students, alumni, faculty, staff, supporters, and friends that are all gathered here at the Williams Center on campus. And for those who are listening and watching online all across the state and country and really the world, part of Eagle Nation. It was over 30 years ago, as many of you know, several members of this institution and this community got, were in this very building when they brought back football and, of course, introduced Erskine and Kirk Russell as head football coach. And when that happened, it put into motion unprecedented growth and recognition for Georgia Southern. So today, we're happy to be here and share with you an announcement that will chart the course for this university for years and decades to come as Georgia Southern continues to strive for excellence in the classroom and on the fields and courts of competition. I want to tell you before we're done with our remarks today, we'll have a short question and answer segment with members of the media. And again, that will come following our remarks. So now it is my distinct privilege and honor to introduce to you Georgia Southern University President, Dr. Brooks Keough. Good morning, Eagle Nation. Good morning. What a great morning this is. This is a big day for Georgia Southern and for the Eagle Nation. A historic day. And I'm so pleased to see so many True Blue here with us today. For more than a century, this great university has been on a journey. From our humble farm beginnings as the first district A&M school to what we are now as Georgia Southern University, we have faced many challenges, embraced many opportunities, and achieved many accomplishments. In each step along our journey, Georgia Southern has grown in reputation, in size, in stature, and in quality. Georgia Southern University has now set an aggressive vision of continuing our journey from a regional university to a nationally recognized research institution. As our history indicates, each time we have challenged ourselves, we have seen tremendous growth in faculty, staff, and students, and have had an incredible positive impact on the economy of our region. Our focus on becoming a nationally recognized research institution will be no different. Today, Georgia Southern finds itself in yet another historic milestone on our journey, one that will significantly help move us towards our goal of national recognition. Eagle Nation, today, I am pleased to announce that Georgia Southern University has accepted an invitation to join the Sun Belt Conference. Athletics has always been an important part of the student senate experience at Georgia Southern. Just over 30 years ago, through the bold vision of then-President Dale Lake and the legendary coach Irk Russell, Georgia Southern restarted a football tradition that has led to six national championships more than any other program at this level. For more than two decades, the Southern Conference has been home for our athletic programs and a significant part of our journey. Making the decision to leave the Southern Conference was not made lightly. We've enjoyed a highly successful association with the SOCON, winning numerous conference championships in this league, and we have established many wonderful rivalries with the outstanding institutions that make up this conference. I want to personally thank Commissioner John Amarino and the Southern Conference Presidents and Chancellors for their long-term support, collaboration, and for their continued friendship. But this invitation today to join the Sunbelt brings unprecedented opportunities for our athletic programs, our student athletes, our fans, and our university. This is simply just too great an opportunity to pass up. I want to thank Commissioner Benson and the presence and chancellors of the Sunbelt Conference for giving us this incredible opportunity. I can't tell you how excited we are to become an active and productive member of this league. We are honored to be part of this conference and the outstanding institutions it represents. I have said many times that Georgia Southern has the best alumni, the best fans, and the best supporters in this country. And the Statesboro community has been a major part of our journey every step of the way. We were all true blue in every way. This move in the Sun Belt represents many changes and many opportunities for you as well. 
And I ask you today to step up, get on board the bus, and continue this journey as we move the Eagle Nation just one more time to the next level. While athletics is a significant part of the overall Georgia Southern experience, our traditions are grounded in providing an outstanding education, first and foremost. At Georgia Southern, student has always been the most important part of the term student athlete. Our new association with the Sun Belt will only strengthen these traditions. In fact, we would not be at this particular milestone on our journey, and we certainly would not be in a position to accept the opportunity presented to us today by the Sun Belt without direct involvement and support of our students. Through an unprecedented campus-wide referendum, our students spoke with a loud voice, and their support gave us the wherewithal to accept this invitation. And at this time, I'd like to turn the podium over to Dominique Pauls, president of our Student Government Association, to say a few words. Dominique. Thank you, Mr. everyone. I appreciate you all taking the time out of your day to join us for this very important announcement. Last semester, Georgia Southern students had the opportunity to vote on three proposed student fees with an unprecedented amount of 9,390 students voting. The student body expressed a desire to move to the football bowl subdivision. This was a student-led and a student-driven vote and I would like to thank President Hill, the administration, faculty and staff for giving us this opportunity to vote. I would also like to thank the members of the Student Government Association for their selfless efforts, and of course, the students who voted and made their voices heard. By providing us the opportunity to vote, Georgia Southern once again showed our commitment and dedication to being student-centered. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carl Benson, Commissioner of the Sun Belt Conference. It's a pleasure to be here in Statesboro on, on the Georgia Southern campus today for this historic announcement. On behalf of the presidents and chancellors of the Sun Belt, I'm privileged to accept and welcome Georgia Southern to the Sun Belt Conference. Dominique, uh, to you and the students, what a, a tremendous uh, performance uh, and, and commitment that the students have made for Georgia Southern. And, and I'll echo President Keel's comments that without the students, this day probably would not have come. So congratulations again. <laughs> the Sun Belt in Georgia Southern is a perfect fit from an academic standpoint, to an athletic standpoint, from a geographic standpoint. Georgia Southern fits in the Sun Belt footprint, and I'm very confident that under the leadership of President Keel and Tom Kleinlein, and all the coaches and all the student athletes, that Georgia Southern will be a contributing member of the Sun Belt immediately when they start play in the fall of 2014. And I look forward to crowning Georgia Southern teams as Sun Belt champions very quickly. And I look forward to following Georgia Southern teams and student athletes and fans to NCAA championships and bowl games very quickly. This is a very, very volatile, very fluid time in intercollegiate athletics. And what the Sun Belt is looking for from Georgia Southern is stability and solid programs and credible programs that will allow the Sun Belt to take a part here in this region and build the Sun Belt here in the state of Georgia. And what better way than your loyal fans, your passionate fans, your dedicated fans and alumni make this Sun Belt territory. I know that this past year, 
My first year in the Sun Belt, I've had an opportunity to travel to all of our campus sites. And as I have visited Georgia Southern, your facilities, your community fits again exactly right into the mold of the Sun Belt. This is a perfect fit for the Sun Belt. And I know that I look forward to my first football Saturday very soon here in Statesboro and on the Georgia Southern campus. So with that, good luck to everyone, good luck to the teams as they finish this year and next year, and we look forward to the Eagles joining the Sun Belt July 1, 2014. Got it. and President Keel and Tom, if you could join me here at the podium, have a little something here to pass off. First of all, some, some hats. There's something for you there, Dominique. A little photo opportunity here. To... Now, I will tell you that this, the, the logo that you've seen, the Sunbelt logo, it's on the helmet, it's on the, it's on the football, it's going to be on t-shirts. I know that, uh, that your bookstore is selling. That Sunbelt logo is going to be retired here in the next several months. So all of this collateral.